What's going on everybody? We're back with our last, our fifth and final NFL game preview. Now this game we're going to be talking about the Chiefs playing the Texans. Um, why am I highlighting this game? There could be better matchups you can say. Um, Eagles Cardinals could be a better matchup. Um, but you got to like what the Texans are doing. Um, Deshaun Watson looks like that guy. Um, what's that guy? Franchise quarterback. Now, he played terrific last week against the Titans. I did not. I picked the Titans to win, and the Titans got blowed out. Um, leaving or bringing our season record to 9-8, and eight, actually, in season previews. So, sorry. Um, but, yeah, the Texans look really good right now with Deshaun Watson at quarterback. He's... He's doing something that no Texan quarterback has done since Matt Schaub, and that's getting the ball down the field. Um, but yeah, you also gotta like what the Chiefs are doing. Um, they're winning ball games. They're four and zero right now. They're looking like the best team in the NFL. They're definitely the best team in the AFC. Um, Kadeem Hunt is absolutely killing it as a runner and receiver. Alex Smith is turning that game manager label into into being a franchise quarterback. Um, it's funny how he turned it all around when Pat Mahomes came in and they drafted him. But they look really good right now. Um, but this is this is a game that I wanted to highlight because of Deshaun Watson. Um, I think Deshaun Watson is the quarterback that can beat the, the Kansas City Chiefs. This game is going to be playing in Houston, Texas. This game, this the stadium could get loud. Um, it would be a nice time for J.J. Watt to actually show up this week too. Um... He hasn't really played up to his standards, I don't think, so it's time for him to have a showing this week. Now, uh, looking at this matchup, it's going to be a tough game. Houston, Houston's always had a great defense, but they I don't think they face somebody like Kadeem Hunt. He breaks a lot of tackles. He has a lot of yards after contact. Um, this guy's an absolute monster, and he's in the perfect offensive system that gets him out in space. Andy Reid is a great head coach. I'm a Cowboys fan. He was the Eagles coach. He knew how to coach. He knows how to coach. He's one of the best coaches in the NFL. Very underrated because he doesn't have a Super Bowl. But he's one of the best coaches in the NFL. Um, on the flip side, Bill O'Brien is still finding his way. He actually has a what looks like a franchise quarterback. He has the skill position set. He has Lamar Miller. He has DeAndre Hopkins. He has um, Will Fuller just came back. Um, if Dwayne Brown would end his holdout, they can they'd have one of a better offensive lines than they than they actually have on the season. So Deshaun Watson is doing a lot of this with his legs extending plays. Um, so there's that. Um, now, looking at this matchup, some things to watch for here: um, Deshaun Watson versus that Kansas City defense. Kansas City's pass defense is ranked, I believe, 24th in the NFL. Um, through four weeks. Deshaun Watson just destroyed the Tennessee defense. Um, and he's a rookie. He's entering his third start here, I believe. His third start. Um, and he's played really well. He has them at 2-2. Two and two. Um, What can you say? Like, I think Deshaun Watson could have another big game. I think he's making a lot of these teams that pass on him pay for it. Um, so... That's something to look at here is Deshaun Watson. Is, is he going to be able to win this game with his arm, with his legs, both? Um, that's something to look at here. Um, I think he's going to be able to get DeAndre Hopkins involved. I think he's going to find a couple of deep passes with Will Fuller. This Kansas City defense is really missing Eric Berry. So attacking them down the middle of the field is where the best to attack them, in my opinion, without Eric Berry because there's no enforcer in the middle no more. Um... Another thing to watch for here is um, the Houston Texans running game versus the Chiefs defense. Now, the Chiefs are very tough to run against because of their front seven. Um, Lamar Miller, I guess you can say, had a pretty breakout game. They used Deontay Foreman in there, too. So, I know I'm highlighting the Texans a little bit right now, but they'll, the Chiefs are coming. Um, if they're able to run the ball effectively, you're able to use Deshaun Watson probably his best his best trait and best feature is um throwing on the run um play action you're able to get those play action bootlegs and that's a huge staple of bill o'brien because he comes from an offense that 
that is kind of like a zone a zone scheme run game and then that opens up the play action later on in the game so look for that and for the uh, something that also we need to look at here is going to be Alex Smith versus the Texans front seven now why the front seven well, because those are the guys that are going to be getting pressure. I would not be surprised to see the Texans throw a lot of blitzes at this Chiefs offense to try to counteract um, Kadeem Hunt. Now, that's a little risky because if he breaks one, he breaks one. That's it. He's gone. He's, he's one of the faster players in the league. Um, but they're going to probably blitz Alex Smith on, on a lot of third downs. Um, it's going to be up to him to find guys like Kelsey and, and Tyreek Hill quickly. Um, so that's something to look at here. And, the, and actually, this is the last, the fourth and final thing to watch for in this game is going to be the Chiefs' defense in general. Um, if they're able to get stops, force Deshaun Watson to play like the rookie that he is, um, get off the field on third downs, they're going to win this game. And that's what they've done this year. Their staple has been running the ball effectively, using the passing game as needed, and their defense getting off the field on third down. That's what matters. So three reasons why here. So three reasons why each team will win the game. So let's start with the Texans. The Texans. Deshaun Watson is going to be able to play amazing. He's going to play out of his mind. Um, I'm not going to say the numbers that he had last week, but I'm going to say 250 yards, two touchdowns, uh, 50 rush yards. Um, why? If he's able to do that, the Texans will win this game because that means that they'll probably have total control of the ball most of the game. That's what they want. That's what Bill O'Brien wants to do. He wants to have the ball kind of play keep away. So look for that. Um, another reason is that J.J. Watt shows up. J.J. Watt does what he does. He gets two sacks. He bats down balls at the line. He takes the old right tackle to the woodshed and beats him. You know, things like that. Things that J.J. Watt has done in the past. I think this is going to be his breakout game of the year where he shows up and you're like, oh, there's J.J. Watt. So look for that. And the third reason that they'll be able to win is that they win the turnover battle. Now, this is preached every week by every NFL team, but you want to win the turnover battle. For the Texans, that's huge. You want to recover the fumble. You want to get an interception. You want to force the fumble. You need something along those lines. You need to get off the field on third down. So, if the Texans are able to do that, they'll win the game. Win the turnover battle, you'll win the game. And three reasons why the Chiefs will win this game. Kadeem Hunt continues on his massive tear of being one of the best running backs in the NFL right now. Um, goes for over 100 yards, two touchdowns, has another 60 receiving. Um, he just continues on with what he's doing. Um, another reason is that the Chiefs defense makes Deshaun Watson look like the rookie that he is. Force him into bad passes, make him think, you know, he sees one thing on defense, but it's actually another. So there's all types of things like that to be looking at, especially when you're playing a rookie quarterback who probably doesn't read a lot of the defenses, even though Bill O'Brien is a smart head coach and a smart offensive coach. So he'll put Deshaun Watson in a position to win this game. Um, and the third reason why the Chiefs will win this game is because they're the better overall team. They'll win the turnover battle. They'll win the field position battle. They'll get off the field on third down. They'll run effectively. They'll pass effectively. They know what they're doing. They're coached amazing. I think Anthony Reid is going to outcoach Bill O'Brien in this game because of the um, the overall talent of the Chiefs versus the overall talent of the Texans. I like the Chiefs in this game. I'm going to take the Chiefs. Um, I'm going to take the Chiefs 27-17 in this game. Um, I think Deshaun Watson has a great game, but I think that he, he loses this game. He throws a bad pass at some point in this game, probably in the second half. It gets picked off, putting the Chiefs in good um, position to win this game here. So that's going to be it. That's my final NFL preview. Thank you for watching, and I'm out. Peace.